Hello guys and gals. Welcome back to the Stanley Parable. I feel like I ain't got that much done in the last bit, so we're, we're gonna move a little quicker through all this. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Yes. Yes, that, that, that is it. No. He refused to believe it. Okay, he I'm wrong. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone pirate. else's control. Whoa, whoa, never. whoa, whoa, I missed the pirate. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Yeah. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Oh, wait. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. All and as the cold line. reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. For one, I really love your voice, man. It is something else. Two, whoa, illusion here. No. One of my stupid moments. Uh, nearly hypnotizes me staring at that. Uh, so the narrator is actually a good guy. I, I, I should be listening to him. As far as I know. What is that? Oh, I don't know what he said to do. Oh, it's five. Okay. My controls idle waiting input. Door didn't close, so And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Alright. Rising chill of uncertainty. Oh, the game's still going. Was it on? Yes. He had won. Whoa. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, it's Stanley Lord reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? Oh. How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What so. other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he so realized is... none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he and had been a lot seeking, other... but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do. Or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. So the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. So this second. was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. So wait a second, if I follow what he's talking about, and beat the game, that, that's good. If I follow what he's talking about, 
Mm. Okay, I had a equipment. Okay, there we go. Had a bit of mess up on the equipment. Uh, so wait, if... Okay, so I'm back here. So if I don't do what he says, it's a different outcome. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yeah, yeah, I admit. I'm sorry, but every time I walk by, it looks like somebody just shit right here. When Stanley yeah, came to, to a right. set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, Perhaps blah, blah, he wanted blah. to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Oh, it looks so wow. nice. Yes, this room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the <laughs> first open door on his left. So, no, no, we're, we're going to keep going where Stanley I want to go. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot Okay, so. Here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. I will miss Please, that. Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. And here's the your thing. Your chance to redeem There's no yourself, female. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. We just seen there was no her. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. As Stanley picked up the phone, <laughs> a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. Hope for a life reunited one... Wait. Oh, goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually... <laughs> Chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. <laughs> He's going through no, the script. <laughs> it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not oh, so this is like a movie. It's actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. Wait a second. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Choice. Uh. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished Stanley third world Stephen. nations. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer what? radius of his house. Which choice would you make? Remember that Whoa. unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking what? with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Okay, I'm going to stop right here. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please hit subscribe, and thank you for watching.